good morning folks welcome to another little video and we're spinning down the valley out on a little local loop and I thought I'd introduce you today to my new toy my new bit of kit it's the Wahoo Element Bolt version 2 GPS cycling computer I think to give it its full name so I'm obviously not sat behind the desk at home doing an unboxing I'm not going to go through every single thing that it does this will be a long video if I did but uh, I'll give you a little field report show you how I've got it set up the features that I use really rely on things I like things I don't like and then overall whether I think this is a 2024 a cycling GPS worth looking at investing your money in buying putting on your bike <laughs> and using so yeah, without further ado, we'll get off this busy road and then get into the video. Uh, it's great to be off the uh, the valley road and we're just on uh, Sowerby Lane now making our way slightly over the tops to Sowerby and then we're going to cut across to pick up the Rippenden Road I think some lovely quiet lanes so I think if you stumbled across this video through maybe a YouTube search or something chances are you're looking to buy your first GPS cycle computer uh, it's probably unlikely that you're looking to upgrade although in my case I had the uh, the Element Bolt version 1 for uh, about six years so in my own case this is a bit of an upgrade and I'll talk about the differences uh, between those two GPS units in a second and we're just going up a big hill <laughs> Yeah, essentially you've got three main screens and then some kind of other screens that you can uh, get into from the main ones. So you have basically a, like a stat screen. Hope you can see that. You've got a climb screen and you've got your map screen. And you might be able to just see at the bottom of the map screen here I've got what's called a summit overlay so you get a bit of the elevation visual on your map screen I really like that that's not something the version 1 did uh, on the main stat screen you can put all sorts of stuff in and I tend to zoom in a little bit And essentially you can prioritize the particular stats that you want to see uh, like at the top of the screen right <laughs> I'm out of breath now I'll uh, catch you in a sec so yeah the data that you see on the screens is very configurable in the um, the element app and for what it's worth the element app itself is very nice very easy to use quite intuitive the setup is very very quick and um, I think it compares really favorably with the Garmin Connect app which I've never used for cycling but I've used for kind of running and um, getting stats onto and off my Garmin Forerunner watch so yeah it's just very kind of easy to use and for me it's got all the uh, kind of stats and all the right data that certainly I need there's all sorts of things you can do with the element bolt that I don't really look at so getting notifications from your phone on the device controlling your music 
live tracking, identifying other Wahoo riders in front of you or behind you. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of functionality that frankly I'm, I'm not really interested in, uh, but it's there if, if you need it. I suppose essentially I'm looking for, and I use the, the element bolt for it's basic navigation, you know, having a, a GPX route uh, loaded into the device or kind of tracking the ride that I've been on. Uh, it seamlessly syncs with Camus and Strava and all sorts of other apps, so that's just taken care of. I wouldn't even worry about that. Uh, and it's very, very easy to, to sort out and to get up and running. Uh, it has the Strava, La Stra Strava Live segments, if that's your thing. I, again, it's not something I use. Uh, and it has a thing called Live Summit Climb. So as soon as you, or as soon as the device gets a kind of sniff that you want to climb, it will uh, jump to that page automatically and throw up that nice uh, kind of colour profile visual of the climb that you're on. Uh, so that this car passed. I really like the climb screen, but I've actually turned that summit climb thing off because I found it quite annoying. Well, that's just me. It's there if you need it. So just a couple of summary comments, things I like, things I don't like about the new Element Bolt version 2. Well I think it's a great sort of no-nonsense, no frills, rock solid cycling GPS and it's perfect for kind of getting into ride stats, uh, syncing with commute and Strava, navigation, it's a great sort of entry level. Uh, maybe that's being a bit unfair because it has a lot of other functionality, but it's a great kind of entry-level first GPS bike computer, I would say. Uh, it is quite small, it's only a 2.2-inch screen, so if you're the sort of person that gets a bit frustrated reading quite small text and quite small graphics, you might want to consider a larger unit, uh, like the Element Rome, or one of the bigger Garmin's, uh, etc. Uh, you can zoom in on the screen so you know you can make certain data larger but obviously you're losing other bits of data off the screen so yeah do bear that in mind, it's only 2.2 inches so it's not a big screen at all. Uh, that being said you know I was tempted by a bigger unit, a unit with what I thought had more functionality but I was really pleasantly surprised to see on the uh, version 2 uh, some features that just weren't on the version 1 and that I was really kind of looking out for actually when I finally got around to replacing my GPS. So two things I really do like on, on this new one. Uh, I like the climb feature and the colour coding, the fact that it has colour so the old version one was just, just black and white and climbs are in uh, you know green, yellow and, and red. Green being sort of easy climbing, yellow have you brought the right bike with the right gears and red do you have your cardiologist on speed dial. Uh, yeah and it's, it's nice to see that data and those kind of stats. I don't think they're quite as fancy as on some of the higher ends bigger Garmin's um, but if you want to be forewarned about what's ahead and kind of use the, the climb profile uh, it does have that and I might have said in a previous clip it also has that sort of live summit feature um, where if the GPS senses you want to climb it automatically changes to that screen. Um, as I might have also said I've turned that off because that's a little bit too much data really and you know I, I'll occasionally want to just get a general forewarning of, of what's ahead uh, but mostly I'm quite relaxed to just let a climb unfold, see what's around the next corner and 
and just kind of feel my way. I'm, I'm not really looking for that sort of performance data uh, en route. Uh, the other thing that I really, really do like about this new uh, Element Bolt version 2 and its functionality I actually didn't realise it had until I was, you know, seriously looking at uh, buying another unit and that's the, uh, the rerouting function. Let me just stop here. So we're about to uh, hit an A road, so... Yeah, if you go off route, uh, if I went off route and with the old version 1 Element Bolt uh, you just went into nothing really and the trip computer didn't do anything. This one actually keeps tracing where you're going and well there's two things that are possible. One is you, you, there's a function where you can retrace your steps which I think is really really handy to kind of get back to where you went off route and the other thing is it automatically just reroutes you um, and it's not just telling you to do a u-turn and go back it'll actually as far, far as possible try and keep you moving in the direction where you've taken a wrong turn but then kind of reroute you back onto uh, the route that you'd planned and that's a really nice feature and one that I will and I've already actually made a little bit of use of uh, it happened right at the beginning of the ride today which I'll, I'll cut to if uh, if that clips come out okay um, but yeah definitely a feature I'll make use of because I have been known to take the, wrong, the odd wrong turn and you know if you're on a long ride or a multi-day ride that can be quite costly actually in terms of you know energy spent and, and time lost uh, so that's something that is a really nice feature of this kind of basic and inverted commas uh, head unit right let me uh, get back onto this side road and then we'll go through just finally one or two things that I'm not that you know thrilled about with with the new unit um, I should just say I'm not sponsored by Wahoo I, this has not been gifted I bought this with my own money uh, I can't remember how much it was but I put that on the screen in uh, Great British Pounds. Um, but yeah, let's get into the negatives in just a second. It always feels good to get to the top here. And got an amazing descent in store. Which unfortunately I can't film today because I haven't got my, uh, my chest cam or my mouth grip or whatever. But uh, trust me, it's a good one. So just before we start this uh, descent proper, I've really struggled to find things that I don't like about the uh, the Element Bolt version 2. And uh, really scraping the barrel, I've come up with two things. First one is, you're not going to score any points for, uh, wow, what's that mate? You know, it's, it doesn't have that wow factor, it looks very discreet. You could argue it looks a bit dated. Uh, it doesn't bother me whatsoever. And the other thing is, uh, the old uh, buttons on the version 1 used to fill up with water when it was raining. Because uh, they were slightly, uh, what would you call it, indented. I hope you can hear this, we're just starting the descent. <laughs> I'm feathering the brakes so just to kind of slow down. So yeah, the old version 1 uh, buttons used to fill up with water when it was raining and they sorted that out on the version 2 but I quite like the uh, little puddles. <laughs> it was kind of a reminder to me that I wasn't just a fair weather cyclist and I was kind of plowing on in all weathers. So I kind of miss that but that's just me being weird I think. Right, I'm going to put the camera away and uh, enjoy this descent. I'll check in with you for the last time when we get to the bottom. Oh man, that never gets old going down there, I tell you. It's so much fun. On a new set of wheels as well on the bike, uh, I got, I think, just under 30,000 miles out of the original pair. And uh, this is my Trivan RC520, which I've made lots of videos about and talked about on lots of other videos. But uh, yeah, I mean, the old wheels served me really well and I've just done a like-for-like -like replacement. So I've got another set of the same original type wheels. And I suppose that's the same thing I've done with the, uh, the Element Bolt. Used the version 1 for six years, just over six years, really happily rock solid never let me down really apart from 
the final trip where it kind of went kaput, crapped out after six years and I think because he served me so well I've just done a almost a like for like replacement. I don't think you can buy the version 1 new so just got the version 2 and uh, maybe I haven't got across as well in this video so it's quite hard to film a tiny little trip computer out on a ride but uh, I'd highly recommend it, it's a great GPS cycling computer. And uh, if I get another six years out of this, I'll be a one happy, continuing happy Wahoo customer. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. If you've stayed uh, this far in the video, really appreciate it. Please consider liking and subscribing, all that jazz. It's great to have your company on these, uh, these little rides. And uh, yeah, back out on the tour, I think, for the next video. Uh, all shall be revealed. But yeah, stay safe, take care. And happy cycling. See you on the next one.